has been described as an exhilarating thrill ride, which it is, oh, isn't it, Matt? It, it's exhausting in all the right ways, let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, well, Ewan Thomas had a similar experience when he went to a quarry in Bethesda in North Wales. This is Penryn in North Wales. Once the largest slate quarry in the world, this local industry is now a shadow of its former self. But hope of bringing new money into the community still rests upon this disused mile-long stretch. And the thing that will do that is this. 1,800 foot up, travelling at speeds of up to 90 miles per hour, I'm one of the first people to travel on this brand new tourist attraction. Oh my gosh! Are we good to go? Oh, Mum! Can you confirm the landing is clear? Yes, yes. Safety's off. OK, hands on the harness. Yep. Enjoy. In three, two, one, go. Rider away. Whoa! Woohoo! Yeah! Now this is the fastest zip line in the world! During its glory days of the 1890s, Penryn Quarry employed around 2,000 workers and produced more than 100,000 tonnes of slate each year. Back then, aerial ropeways, known as blondins, wouldn't have carried people, but transported wagon loads of slate directly to the mills to be processed. But in November 1900, Penryn Quarry witnessed the longest industrial dispute in British history, a three-year strike over pay and conditions. They offered a bribe of one gold sovereign to induce quarrymen to come back to work. Now that then led to division because those that came back to work were branded as blacklegs, you know, as traitors, as scabs, uh, by those who remained out on strike. Cards like this began to appear in windows in the locality. So this says in Welsh, there is no traitor, there is no blackleg in this house. And there are people in the area until today who remember uh, who belongs to a blackleg family and who will perhaps hold that against them. The strike was a disaster for the North Wales slate industry. Thousands of men were laid off and many firms went bankrupt, including my own great-grandfather's Thomas Thomas, who owned a slate mine a few miles from here. Today at Penryn, modern machinery has replaced all but 200 workers. What the zip wire has done now is introduced to reuse into this part of the quarry. It's turning the heritage of this quarry into an attraction, and that itself is a good thing, I would say. To be honest, I'm not sure what my great-grandfather would have made of this. But I know what I make of it. It's brilliant. I'm going again. Woo -hoo -hoo! Whoa! Woo -hoo! Yeah! That, that, is, that, oh, that is amazing, isn't brilliant. it? Brilliant. Look, look at you're on the edge of your seat there, Danny. I'd look, I'll be up for that, definitely. Yeah. Nice to know you were enjoying the camera angles. Oh, it? yeah, no, the camera work was great.